<laughs> I don't know if that gets better or worse every time you do it. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> have you if you're if you're ever wondering why when I do that I stick my head off the side of the camera? It's because usually my tongue's sticking out and I don't want anything spraying out, am I? <laughs> Anyways, I got Kurt Bush this week. And I've got the winner, Kyle Bush, this week. I hope he doesn't win, because that will make me mad. Kyle's going to win it for me. Mad, I say. Anyways. Uh, NBA scores right now. Uh, the Bulls are up on the Nets right now. 74-62. Uh, it's fourth quarter. 6.05 left in that game. The uh, the Grizzlies are up on the Clippers, 37-31. Uh, five minutes and 37 seconds left in the second quarter. Um, let me see, what else do I got here? Uh, like I said, uh, Tigers have signed Jose Valverde. Uh, I don't believe Valverde pitched today, but the other uh, day um, he pitched a good game. Uh, good ninth inning, I should say. He pitched... Uh, one, two, three, ninth to earn a save in his return. Uh, Tigers win over the Royals seven to five. And uh, Penn State's quarterback Stephen Bench uh, yeah. is going to transfer, uh, but he will One not. I had it. Oh. oh, you had that too. Yep. Yep. He's not going to have to sit out though because of the whole uh, uh, Penn State. Um, yeah, they got that. They they have a thing. It's up until uh, I believe it's almost it's up until the season actually starts this year. Okay. The guys can still transfer without any consequences yeah. or fight from the school. They won't have to sit out or anything. Yep. So he can transfer. This to me is not uh, this particular guy. I was reading up on him a little bit, and. Uh, he just he's just he's just taking advantage of the rule because he's he he's, he wasn't named the starting quarterback. Yeah. And he wants to be a starting quarterback. Yeah. He feels he's competitive enough to be a starting quarterback. So instead of trying to compete and become a starting quarterback, he's just gonna leave. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that's what he did. Yeah, that was exactly what I uh had to is basically that's why he was leaving too, because uh, apparently he pitched in their uh, scrimmage against their offense. You know, what is it, the white versus the blue team or whatever. Um, apparently he, he uh, played in that game, uh, but he's not going to be the starting quarterback. So, whatever. Good luck with your future there, Steven. Exactly. Uh, let's see what else do we got. That's about it. All that's all I have. What what do you got for us, Tim? Oh, I just want to give a big shout out and congratulations to Barry Sanders mm -hmm. on making the Madden cover. Woohoo! Yes, congrats, congrats. Yes, that'll make a lot of people happy. Yes, uh, that should uh, get Madden some sales this year. And that's the twenty fifth anniversary edition of Madden, correct? Yes. All yep. right. And in some racing news, uh, racer Denny Hamlin has not been cleared for the race this week at Richmond. Uh, his latest scans show that he still has not recovered from the lower back compression fracture that he has, so he's out for another week. His backup driver um, will be driving for him, and I guess the way that works is even when the backup driver is racing for you, you are actually still earning the points. So he's still earning points for uh, Denny. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, uh, Syracuse forward C.J. Fair has decided to return for his senior season. So there's a guy that didn't jump ship for the draft tonight. Um, uh, congratulations to Grizzlies center Mark Gazal. He's won the NBA 
Defensive Player of the Year. And <laughs> Cleveland news here. Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers have re-signed their coach that they fired three years ago. Oh. Congratulations to Coach Mike Brown. He signed a five-year, $20 million deal. Owner Dan Gilbert admits it was a mistake to fire him. <laughs> That's probably a good thing to say. So, uh, he is now rehired. So, welcome back. Uh, Charlotte Bobcats fired coach Mike Dunlap after one season. They are currently looking for a new coach. Uh, then there's going to be, I just learned this, I haven't heard anything about this. Did you know there is going to be, in college football, there's going to be a playoff now? Yeah. Yep, the four. And the name of the it is going to be four teams in the playoffs, and it's going to begin after the 2014 regular season. And of course, the playoffs. Guess where the playoffs is going to be played at? I think I heard uh, the uh, Cowboy Stadium. By golly, you are right. The Cowboy Stadium. Um. Then the first national championship game will be held January twelfth of twenty fifteen. I think it's I think it's a good idea to have this playoff because this will um, there there'll still be controversy. You'll have the because there'll be the the probably the uh, one two three and four teams ranked. You know. And uh, but then you'll have the fifth seed and the sixth seed probably saying, "Well, what the heck? Why aren't we in this playoff? Why are we excluded from it?" So, but uh, this this will only be adding two more games to these teams' uh, seasons. Um, so it's really not that big of a deal. I think it's a good idea. And I think it will help to eliminate it because I mean. No offense to Notre Dame fans, but this past year, I don't think the game should have been between Notre Dame and Alabama. That was not a championship game. Championship game should be a close game. It shouldn't be a blowout game that bad. Um, but yeah, anyways, enough renting and raving. There you go. Yep. Um, and uh, that's all the actual new stuff I have, but there's something big going on tonight as we're filming right now. It is the NFL Draft. Ooh! Um, it is going on. It's, it'll be going on for a while. This is the first round they got going on tonight. Um, I'm not going to go into a ton of details on this. Um, people can are either watching it or maybe they can stay tuned to the blog and we'll post more on it. I'm giving you, I'll give you the top five uh, that I wrote down. So it's our top five picks um, that have come out of the draft. Number one in the draft, the one for the draft this year, Kansas City has the first pick. Kansas City is now being coached by the uh, Eagles coach, remember, former Eagles coach. Oh, they got yes. fired. And Kansas City, first overall pick, is a dude by the name of Eric Fisher. An offensive tackle out of Central Michigan. woo Good job representing Michigan. All right. Central Michigan gets the number one draft pick this year. Uh, so congratulations to Eric Fisher for making it to Kansas City. Yes. Number one here at Sports Frenzy, we have done the research, and that is the first time ever anybody from the MAC has been drafted in the first, the very first pick. So, congratulations also to the MAC. That's very cool, indeed. All right, number two pick was by Jacksonville, and his name is, uh, I'm probably going to butcher some of these names, and I'm sorry for that, Luke Jackal. Uh, he's also an offensive tackle, and he's 
from Texas A&M. Uh, in the number three pick, it was originally the Oakland Raiders pick. They traded it to the Dolphins, and the Dolphins took uh, Deion Jordan, an offensive linebacker out of Oregon. Number four was the Philadelphia Eagles, and their first pick under their new head coach, and they take Lane Johnson. Another offensive tackle, and he's out of Oklahoma. And last but not least for our pick edition here, is our boys out of Detroit. The Detroit Lions had the number five pick. And this name I'm going to butcher severely. They picked Ezekiel Ansa. Ansa? Something like that. You guys want the proper pronunciation, go on YouTube or something and find it. <laughs> <laughs> or go to Sports Center, they might be able to pronounce it better. He is a defensive end out of BYU. And that is your top, your first five draft picks of the 2013 class. First five. First five. All right. We're running right now. And, uh, I'm not sure where they are. Number 24, it looks like, maybe. Oh, coming up. Oh, wait. Oh, 15. Oh. Um, apparently, today's game, Verlander left the game with a th uh, th thumb injury. Don't be alarmed, everybody. It's not a big deal. It's a blister on his thumb, so not a big oh. deal. Not a big deal. Nothing <laughs> Nothing that's going to require surgery, so uh, let's see what else do Also I in the draft, they keep panning to this guy by the name of Geno Smith. He's looking pretty distraught right now, like Thinking, thinking maybe he thinks he should have been picked by now. <laughs> uh oh. And he hasn't been picked yet. So. Uh oh. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on our boy uh, Denard there when he gets drafted. Yeah, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna look that up, and I didn't even check. You, um, big thing about that is you can go to the, uh, uh, what is it, mgoblue.com, and they usually have a link right there that tells. All the Michigan guys that are going to go, that are in the draft, and where they're predicted to go, so you can watch and kind of keep an eye on things like that. Good. Um, I haven't seen. I'm there sure. hasn't been any talk. Yeah. I can see here of any Michigan guys. Well, I'm. I, I from what I'm hearing, uh, I'm not hearing that Denard is going to go uh, very early. Um. I think it's going to be a later round that he that he goes. Um, so. And really, I mean, I don't haven't heard in a while. I'm sure there's going to be some concern on uh, what kind of damage does he still have in his arm there, you know? Yeah, I was kind of hearing a couple things. I was hearing maybe the late rounds, like fourth round, uh, he might get picked up by someone. But yeah. Nothing confirmed. Nothing. Uh, I. I. No offense to Denard. He's a great athlete, great player, but I don't think he's going to have much of a uh, NFL career. I mean, he's going into the NFL career, and he doesn't really have. Um, he's going to the NBA. You know, the NFL, and it's not real clear what his position is as a player, and I think that's kind well, of. I, we can almost clarify that he. Not, I know when he went to the combine, nobody was looking at him as a quarterback. So yeah, oh no, no, he definitely. But I mean, with him, my big concern for him is with him having this injury already, and that, let's face it, it, it did kind of take him out of the games this year. Um, you know, I don't know if a lot of people are going to want to take a chance with that, or the fact that you know, I mean. I don't really want to see him get hurt right away and then his career be over. So. Yeah, yep. And we've had a few Michigan guys that have, you know, had freak accidents lately that have taken them out, so. Let's see. What else do we got? Um, real quick here. I believe. Uh, currently, 
Well, the Red Wings won tonight, five to two against the Nashville Predators. Great, good job, Red Wings. So I believe if the Blue Jackets lose tonight, I believe the Red Wings clinch a playoff spot. Um, the Blue Jackets and the Stars currently are tied one uh, one to one in the third period. So we need uh, the Blue Jackets to lose for the Red Wings to make the playoffs. So. Um, do you got anything else, Tim? No, nope, that's all I have. Um, okay, here's your answers to the trivia at the beginning of the show. First ever NBA championship game was in 1950. The Minneapolis Lakers defeated the Syracuse Nationals. Four yeah, games. I got that one right. Four games. To two. Uh, the all-time point leader in NBA. Tim, who do you think it is? Uh, what were the questions again? Or the, I mean, what were the answers? Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, or Tim Duncan? I went with uh, C, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You are correct. He had, yeah. he had 38,387 points. So, Sweet. but that is all I have for you guys. Uh, yeah, we don't have much in the way of wrestling this week, so nope. no wrestling news, and we did come up with a wrestling question. Oh, right the Rock! The Rock really did have surgery. He really was injured, and he had successful surgery. So that's there. That's all I got for wrestling. <laughs> I think I think he'll come. I think he'll make appearances. I don't know if necessarily he'll wrestle. Uh, I think he'll at least come back and he has to close out this whole thing. I mean, he has to say something. Um, he might have one more match in him, you know, a lose to Cena match, and because he has his rematch clause. So I don't know if they'll let him end on that note. But yeah. Oh, I do have one more thing to mention. Um, Tomorrow night, if, if you're not doing anything, you're not busy, there is a Hope Hoopsters game at the Hope Center. Ooh. And I wrote it down somewhere who they were playing, and I don't have that in front of me now. I apologize for that. But tomorrow night, 7 o'clock at the Hope Community Center, Hope Hoopsters in action. Check it out. Yeah. That's all I have. Yeah, that's all I got too. So, hey, well, everybody have a great weekend. Enjoy your sports or whatever you're watching this weekend. Rose, have a good one. Oh yeah, you too. You betcha. I am the coach. I'm Jamie. And if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. <laughs> <laughs>